Hello, I'm Trevor from Pico Technology. We're looking at the Picoscope 2200 series of USB connected oscilloscopes. They have two analog channels plus an arbitrary waveform generator. Connected with a USB interface for power and connection to a host computer. They're small and lightweight, but they offer the capabilities of many benchtop oscilloscopes. There are five models up to 200 megahertz bandwidth. Sampling speeds to a giga sample per second and 48 kilosamples of buffer memory. What we're looking at here is the front panel controls of a Picoscope 2208 200 megahertz oscilloscope. We're looking at some serial bus traffic. In fact, in this example, it's an I2C bus. On the blue channel, we're looking at the data, and on the red channel, we're looking at the clock that's associated with that information. And if we increase the time base a little bit, let's go to 100 microseconds per division, we can start to see those packets with a bit more detail. Um, we can make measurements on them, so if I just freeze that for a second and use cursors, we can look at the, the packet length, which for that one is a about 51, 52 microseconds. We could look at amplitude information, make general signal integrity measurements on those packets. If we go back to the live display and slacken the time base a little bit, what we can do in addition is to decode the information that's being transmitted in those packets. So Picoscope gives us a serial decoding package here. And by clicking on the menu, we can select from the available protocols here. So we've got several protocols available to us, ARINC 429, CAN, LIN. Uh, and the one that we're interested in here is I2C. So we've told Picoscope that channel A is the one with the data. So channel B, therefore, has to be the clock. So it's set those things up for us automatically. So if we hit the OK button, what we can then start to see is the decoded data that's contained within those packets. And if I just zoom in a little bit, we can see that we've got address and data information that's displayed for us here for, um, for each part of that packet together with some timing information so that we can check that the, the times correlate with what we're expecting to see. You'll also notice at the bottom of the screen, we've got a tabular format so that we can see not only in time domain, but also in a, a listing domain here, we've got a number of packets of information. So if we click on packet number 34 and double click on that, it correlates. So we've We've, got, we've highlighted packet 34. It's an, uh, accessing address A1. It's a read, and we can see the data that's being read from it. It also highlights that same packet on the upper um, time domain screen here so that we can see exactly the correlation of the data display, the timing display, the waveform characteristics at that point so that we can search for any signal integrity errors that are affecting the performance of the device under test. The beauty of these scopes is that it gives you the performance of a benchtop oscilloscope anywhere that you travel. Have a good trip.